In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a pivot table in Excel in order to manipulate data to get it to uh, give us some meaning. So this, this data here is just a whole bunch of students who are registered for different sections of this course. In fact, there's Auto 131 Section 1, Auto 131 Section 2. Uh, this is an online class, and this is a campus class. And then there's a Auto 131L or lab, and there are three sections. You've got Auto 131L-01, 02, and 03. So we've got a bunch of data, no particular order, and uh, we're going to see if we can put it to a pivot table and try to get some good information out of it. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll take and highlight the data. We'll control shift and the down arrow to select all the data. And we're going to come up here to insert and pivot table. If you don't know where to start, Excel tries to recommend some pivot tables for you. You can look at those recommended tables if you'd like, or just select pivot table. It asks for the range. This should already be set up. You should have to just click OK, and we'll open up a new sheet down here with your pivot table. But then if we come over here, we can select boxes and turn on some of the data. So let's say we wanted to see how many students are registered for each course. So we can come over here and click on course first, which will bring up courses. And if we want to right off the bat see how many students are in the course, we can just drag this label down to the values box and it will give us numbers for each course. So it tells us how many people are enrolled in each course. Um, if we want to then see the students in the course, you would select the students box and we'll list the students. Now I, I think there's probably an easier way to see that. I don't like them all listed out, but that would be nice like a class role or something. But let's say we want to see students listed in columns and maybe even the other way around. So let's put course over here and students here. It shows us each student and which courses that student is registered for. So the student number one, and by the way, these names are all changed, so don't worry, these are not real students. So Preston is registered for this class, the, the section one of Auto 131, and the section one of the lab, a total of two. And everybody who's in a class and a lab should have a two out here. If we see a one, that automatically shows us here's someone who's registered for this course but not in any lab, and so that's a red flag. And so we can sort for all the, of the ones and find the people who need to be contacted and reminded to sign up for the lab, for example. That's one way we could use this pivot table. Another way is maybe we want to see when people registered for the course. We have date as one of our options over here. So we'll uncheck these boxes. And now let's come over here and let's select something like major. Maybe we can see which majors, sorry, not majors, I meant to say class. See which class, which students registered on which date. So let's uh, select date. In fact, let's put date in the columns over here. So we've got our dates listed. We don't need months in, in there, but we do want to see the students, the number of students registering on each date. So let's bring this down to the values so it puts numbers in for the students. Now we can go across and see, well, here's when the freshmen registered. You can see that the seniors were re registering first, followed by juniors, and then sophomores and freshmen began registering last. And then uh, we can also look at the dates. There were a lot of people registering. It looks like a lot of sophomores registering on the 14th. On the 16th, there were a lot of freshmen registering, and the biggest registration day of the whole um, registration period was on the 16th of November. So that, that might be interesting data for us to look at. But these are just a couple of examples. I would encourage you to click on these different uh, items and practice moving things around, filtering, just seeing what you can find from this data set and practice using a pivot table to to manipulate your data and get the get the uh, meaning out of your data that you want. So you can find that there are trends in this data, but you can't identify those trends until you've got it in a pivot table. 